In this video, you'll learn how to add code to your WordPress header or footer area. A lot of times different websites like Pinterest or Google will ask you to add pieces of code to your header area. So let me show you a quick way that you can add it to your website. First thing you wanna do is you want to log in to your WordPress dashboard. Then from here, we want to scroll down to the plugins area and we wanna click add new. We're going to add a very simple plugin to your website and don't worry, it won't bog your website down or anything. It just makes it super easy for you to add the header or footer code like you need to. From the search area, let's go ahead and type in insert headers and footer and footers. And this is the one we want. This is created and maintained by WP Beginner, that is us. So you want to install it. And then once it's installed, you want to hang around and go ahead and make sure that you click activate as well. Once it's activated, you'll get a message saying that it's been installed and we can either click here to configure it or if you ever need to come back to it, you can go down to settings, insert headers and footers to configure. Now from here, you'll have to decide where the software that you're installing, it's usually a JavaScript where they're asking you to put it. If they're wanting you to put it in the header, then you can put it up here. If they want, to, if they want you to put it just before the body closing, then that goes down here. So let me quickly show you how you can do that. For instance, if you want to install Pinterest pins on your site, then you have to have this bit of script installed throughout your website. So I'm just going to grab this, and this is just for an example. If you really need to activate Pinterest on your site, then you can watch our video on how to do that here. So I'm going to grab this bit of code. You see that it's asking us to do it just before the closing body tag. So that means I want to put it in my footers area. I'm going to highlight this and copy, and then we'll head back over. And we'll put it in the scripts and the footers. I'll right click and paste that. And now that that's pasted, now it's available on all of my site. The other two methods require changing out your theme, and so it's a little bit difficult to maintain. For instance, if you're doing it in the theme, you'll have to go into header and footer and actually change those pieces of code. Some other themes provide you with an area that you can fill out, but the problem with these two methods is if you ever change out your theme, then this bit of code is no longer on your site and might break whatever it is that you're trying to use. And that is why we recommend using the insert headers and footers, which is a very simple and easy to use plugin that won't bog down your site. So that's a super easy way to add header and footer code into your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.